Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the tutorials for VS1680. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss a very important drive select command. And uh, this Roland 1680 only allows a partition of 2.1 GB. So it has 20 GB hard disk and it has been divided into 8 partitions. And uh, to select and to make the most out of uh, the hard disk, we have to use uh, this drive select command. So I'm going to press the shift key up here and uh, now it displays the system and utility at the at the right bottom corner. I'm going to press the utility command and uh, with the utility command now you can see that there are various commands displayed but um, the drive select command is not so I'm going to press the page button and with the press of page button you can see the drive select. I'm going to press it and now it's scanning the drives and the partition and now you can see that the partition 4 is selected up there there you go and uh, um, I'm going to choose another partition say for the for the sake of this example I'm going to say choose partition number 1 and I press the execute button this execute button up there and then it asks me to uh, press the yes I say yes and it actually saves the song on the partition 4 and is uploading the default song that I left when I when I left this partition space it is actually remember it remembers that uh, that song and it uploads that song now to check the song I'm going to press the shift and the song command I'm going to press the select and now you can see the number seven song is uploaded this song is uploaded and uh, that's all. I think uh, it's a it's a great command to. I'm going to say return to the home screen. This is a great command to make the most out of your partitions, and is very important using Rolling VS1680. Thanks. Very quickly in this clip, I'm going to show you a few commands. First of all, press the Shift key, then the song, and in this song menu we can select a song to open a new song just like this and then create a new song I have explained to rename the song to protect the song so that nothing can be overwritten optimize the song this is a very good command because VS1680 offers lot of undo operations lot of takes are still stored in the hard disk and they are clipped to the song project pressing this command and to execute will mean that all the previous data except the latest recording is deleted from the song and they are no longer clipped to the song so that way it frees up a lot of disk space to record another project I'm going to go back into the song project song menu I'm going to press the page button now copy song will keep all the settings that we did onto the track number one and track number three and that way we can preserve a lot of our settings that we are going to use regularly. Um, the erase command is another uh, that will erase the song project from the, direct, from, the, from the hard disk. We press the page key again and that way we come across with the CD writing com command. Pressing this button will export the data to the CD writer using SCSI port. I am going to go back by pressing, uh, sorry, I am going to press the play button to come to the home screen and then press the shift button and then the system command in this we can actually uh, play with various disk and the system parameters in VS1680 the, the, the operating system is on the BIOS and all the data is written onto the hard disk so there is, there is no risk of uh, if, you, if you remove the hard disk and want to replace the hard disk if your hard disk is corrupted you no longer actually but again with a caution that these operations should be done by the help of the technical personnel now in this menu you can see that there are several commands but there is one one important command that is called init this will initialize the hard disk and will remove or clear all the data from the hard disk it is not a format command but it's a command that will erase all the data from the hard disk and free up the disk space fully. Now this is the date command by which you can 
actually change the date here and the time and that way all your recordings have a time and date stamp thank you 1680 in this small clip i am going to show you how to start and shut down your roland for this i am going to press the power button at the back now where my finger is in the beginning the roland the roland is going to check the scsi port and the id drive just like any other computer and then it will upload the default project at the shutdown once the project is loaded the main screen is displayed and uh, it shows the two tracks that i have recordings on i can zoom in by the press of this button corresponding zoom button and with the zoom in you can see the uh, now roland displays uh, the eight tracks and now it is displaying four tracks i can zoom out with the uh, with the corresponding zoom out button okay now i'm going to uh, shut down the unit so to shut down i am going to press the shift button always use this procedure otherwise uh, there are chances that your roland can get corrupted now with the press of the shift key what i am going to use is these uh, commands white commands in the border so the shut eject command because this white area as i explained in my last tutorial will correspond correspond to the uh, to the white bordered commands so the shut eject command i press it and i then i press the yes button and once again i press the yes button to store the song now it's storing the project and is allow will allow me to shut down now i can power off or restart by press of the same button at the back i press it and it's shut thanks